All right, what is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In today's video, we're gonna go again into Goodlock, which you can download from the Galaxy Store on your phone. Go into Goodlock, and the one that we're gonna look at today is called Routines Plus. Now this one is, you can see right here, actually we'll go back right there so you can read it a little bit better. It And I can read it a little bit better. It says that various features have been added to Bixby routines, allowing you to create more powerful routines. So basically what this does is it allows you to do certain actions automatically on your phone without you doing really much of anything. It kind of takes the guesswork or the work out of you doing certain things on your phone and have them just automatically happen when certain requirements are met. So I'll walk you through a couple of those. So right when you open this app up, you're gonna see that you have add advanced features to Bixby routines so you can make more powerful routines. Check out the additional features in Bixby routines. You can see them when you're building routines. So if you just wanna be able to go to any of these routines based off, you know, cause that's like one part of the app, but really to see them all is to go into settings. And then once you're in settings, you'll see modes and routines. You can come in here and then you'll see routines at the bottom. And this is gonna be where all that you have so far. Like one of the ones that I set up and I'll show you how I did it, is this one right here, it's called run a touch macro. So I made a shortcut because when I create it, it asked me. So basically I'm gonna, I tap it, it opens up my Google Play Store for me. And when I go into my Google Play Store, it actually is gonna check to see if I have any app updates and it'll do them automatically for me. You know, manually check. I know it'll automatically happen once I'm on Wi-Fi and you know certain requirements are met. This will manually do it for me. You see, I didn't even touch anything that did it all for me and I'll show you how I did that. So going into the Routines Plus app, we'll first go into the location-based quick access. So basically what's gonna happen is you have an if and a then, and we're gonna say if, and you can do a certain buck button action. So basically what's gonna happen is when I press my volume down, when I'm at this place, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take a selfie photo. Maybe I do that for security purposes or whatever else. I hit save and it saves that. And again, if I wanna amend that or anything else, it's not gonna be in Routines Plus. It's gonna be under Settings, Modes and Routines, Routines, and now you'll see the new one I have where it says Location-Based Access, and I'm able to, again, do that. You know, you can think of a million reasons why you'd want something like that, but that's one reason. And if you didn't like that or you wanna change that, all you have to do is press and hold on it, and you can hit Delete or Disable. So I'm gonna hit Delete because I don't need it. Now the next one is run touch macro. That's where I was able to automatically check for app updates with my phone. And I'll show you how I did that. All right, so I'm in here. I'm gonna hit, and I'm gonna leave it at start manually. Start manually when start button or a widget is tapped. I'm gonna leave it at start manually and then touch macro. I'm gonna come in here and I have it already set here and I can choose it again or I can hit add. Find the app that I wanna do this with. I'll choose Google Play Store, next. Now it brings me into the Google Play Store and it's really easy to use actually. All you do is hit record and then do the action and then you're done. So for instance, I'm gonna hit record. I'm gonna hit my name up here. I'm gonna hit manage apps and devices. And then usually I have my update apps button if there's an app and I would tap that and then I'd hit stop. And it, that's all you have to do. And again, when you're done, just hit save, give it a name. Maybe you're just gonna call it updates. These are just the starting time, the repeat, and if there's any time between repetitions, you hit save, and it shows up in here and will automatically run. You can do that with any app. Maybe you wanted to post a photo to Instagram or do something else, it'll automatically do that with your actions that you set up. Also, if you have any modes and routines in here, you wanna add them as a shortcut to your home screen, just click into it, click the three dots at the bottom, and then hit set as widget. Now I can't find my S Pen, but it says control arrow keys with the S Pen. Scroll or turn the page with a flick of the wrist. And you can come in here and set that to how you want it to be. Maybe you want it to be left, hit done. S Pen, you can do a press or a double press or a press and hold in order to get that action to happen. You hit save and then it takes effect. Fingerprint to website. So basically when you use your fingerprint to unlock your phone, it will open up a specific website. You click in here choose your fingerprint, and then go to a website, you tap on that, type in the website that you want it to open when you uh, unlock your phone. So I'll just put amazon.com, hit done, hit save. And when I unlock, when I lock my phone, I'll unlock it. And you can see it automatically opens up that website that I set. 
when I unlock it with my fingerprint. If you want to know when you have a low battery, uh, you can come in here, get a voice alert when your battery is low. So tap into that, set the battery level. Now I have 39%. So I'll just put 39% and I'll put uh, when it's equal or above, I'll hit done. We'll just see if it says it alive. You can see, uh, read your text aloud and you can type what you want it to do. So I'm going to put dude charge. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Dude, charge your phone now. Read even when sound is muted. You can turn that on or off. Hit done. And I'm going to hit save. Dude, charge your phone now. And there you go. It, it reads it right up to you to let you know that you need to charge your battery uh, if it's set to a certain percentage. Now you can also share via QR code any of your things in here. If you want, you can also come in here and export any routines that you want. And you can also import saved routines as well. And remember, if you come into settings, modes and routines, routines at the bottom, you can always hit this plus sign and create any that you want. There's tons and tons of things in here. The, the, the plus version of what I just showed you really just adds a few in here and gives you some ones to start off with. So go crazy in here to your heart's content. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.